Hi, it's Joe Glines with The Automator, and today we're going to demonstrate a really great tool. It's actually written in AutoHotKey, but you don't have to know AutoHotKey to use it. So it's called Quick Access Pop-Up. Uh, I've demoed it in several webinars and mentioned it, and I've even led a webinar with the developer, John Lalonde, who has built an amazing tool with a lot of functionality. I'm not going to go into all the functionality because it, it's, it, it would take us an hour easily. Um, I want to start off with just the things that I use, right? The, the most common things that I think that a lot of people will love. There's a ton of advanced stuff in it, and you can watch once you get start using the tool, then I'd say go look at those deeper things that you can do. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, we're going to switch over and do some examples. Now, I have it configured to a button. The default is the middle mouse button. I'm using a different mouse hotkey. And it's a basically a GUI tool that allows you to build, you can build shortcuts to folders, to web pages, to um, snippets of text, uh, to access um, a lot of different stuff, to launch things together. You can share menus. Um, and the, my examples here, so these are like, you know, I have my website, The Automator, and um, I have pre-programmed in, let's say I'm commenting on uh, something in YouTube that someone stated a question about something. Where do, where do I get access to? How do I access Excel? Well, I don't have to go look it up on my website. I can come here and say, oh, look, and I even have a little pretty icon, right? I can say Excel and whatever window I have active, it's going to dump that text in there. So even if I had Notepad active, I could come back in here, Automator, Pages, uh, let's do Regex, and it'll dump that text that I have preset for it to dump in there. Uh, it, it, it works very, very reliably and will send it to basically any window you're in. So it's, it's a really great tool for um, having snippets of text as well as a lot of other things. Um, let's go ahead and look at a couple others. So I also have like here, like on my playlist, here are all my, um, well, no, I shouldn't say all, uh, the, the most common playlists I have. So again, if I'm in there and someone says, you know, they're talking about Excel, hey, why don't you check out this? Now that one, of course, I should have had a line break here, so that's my fault. Um, but that would be my playlist for Excel. Uh, again, I like having these icons. Now, I'm gonna launch a different menu. This menu, I have handwritten, and I can show you the code, but it took me hours upon hours upon hours to write. In QAP, I and mean, then it doesn't even disappear when I want it to. Um, let me just pick something here, there we go. And uh, in QAP, this is the QAP menu. Um, let me demonstrate how easy it is. So I can go in here to customize. Now your menu, when you first install this, is gonna look differently, right? Um, what I'm gonna do here is to just demonstrate now, let me again click this. Here you can see this is that menu, right? Minus the icons. So you can see what's on here, that, right? It mirrors that, um, plus these couple other things here at the bottom. And um, I can navigate around and let's say, let's go back up to my root here. Um, let's say I wanted to add a snippet. So I'm gonna click this add button. Here you can see there's a lot of different things you can add. And like I said, I'm, I'm not gonna go into all those because it's just it's just overwhelming. So I'm gonna hit continue. Um, now, what's the short name? Um, so just an example, this would be, this is the root. Now let's make sure we capitalize this because this is something you'd wanna have perfect, right? You're gonna set it once. Um, and let's make a hotkey to it. So I'm gonna add a hotkey and we'll do control shift. Um, oops, wrong thing here. Uh, we'll do T. I think actually, I think I might have that somewhere else. Control shift E for example. Um, and let's go ahead and change that icon. So these are the default icons. You know what, for this purpose, it's fine. Add, now I'm gonna save and We'll just do save. I don't actually have to hit save and close. Once it's done updating, I can hit my thing here and there it is, right? So I want to come back in here and click that and there, bam, like in a couple of seconds, right? I added a snippet. So you get an idea um, how easy it is. I could either then come in here and if I wanted to move that, um, I can move it and choose where to put it, you know, where it fits in my menu system. Um, you can move multiple things at a time. Uh, now, one other thing that I wanted to mention was the open and save dialog boxes, which we all use often and, and frequently we have folders that are hidden away on network drives or they're just difficult to get to and it takes you a lot of clicks, right? QAP is really built to save you time and stopping having to click so many things. So let's jump in here. I wanna do a demonstration of that. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate here the uh, 
folder access. So let's say I wanted to save this file. So I go here to file to save as. Now it will automatically detect I have one of these dialog boxes open. I can hit my little hotkey here to launch the menu. Oh, you know what? I want to go to my auto hotkey work folder. Let's let's go to my, we'll keep consistent, we'll do Excel. It'll navigate there for me. It just jumps automatically to it, right? So it'll work with this like save, save as folder, or if you haven't saved it yet, you know, that is a save as, uh, or the open dialog boxes on basically any browser you're using, or even if you're using um, other tools, it, it can use it, their file explorer. Like if I didn't have, if there was no file open or file save dialog box, and I do the same thing, it will launch, it'll detect that like I don't have a dialog box open and actually launch that folder for me. So it'll jump right to it. So you get an idea of just, wow, this right, those few things right there can save you just an amazing amount of time. Uh, the, the last thing I wanted to mention was, you know, adding these icons, which you saw here. And now I'm, let me come back in here. I'm gonna customize and let's remove that because I'll forget about it. So there we go. Um, again, it's really intuitive. It's available, I think, in 11 languages. Um, I, again, I moved, you know, I removed a lot of the built-in stuff. He has some really cool built-in things that you can do. Um, I highly encourage you to just at least give it a try uh, because it is just, it, it has so much in it, I could spend easily an hour or more talking about it. But it's a really, really great tool for working on it. The other thing I did want to mention is, um, it is free, but um, you'll have this little button here, and I highly, I've, I've contributed to it. I just had this set up so you could see this button, and it's, it's real. I highly encourage you to, you know, give them a few bucks if you like it, right? It's just, it's, it's shareware in that sense of, you know, if you love it, then start giving, you know, give them some money, right? We all, we all, and, and he updates it a lot. That was actually the other day. I noticed there were some really big improvements and some cool stuff, features he had added. And so I reached out to him and we did a, an hour webinar just on the updates he had done because uh, the interface changed. You can come in here and there's, you can search across things. So this search button, if you can't remember what it is, it'll, it'll search across everything. Like if I start typing, you'll see it here. I can extend it. Um, you can sort your menus. What else? If we come back in here again, like I said, there's, there's a built-in special folders, which are really cool because there's just amazing amount of stuff there. And sometimes you want to be able to change things and you don't quite know where to go. He's he's built in a lot of stuff that's for it. Um, you can you can have a quick launch folders, uh, not folders, sorry, I showed you folders, uh, specific files. Like if you use a specific file over and over, then it's great, or launch programs. This menu here, um, Oh no, this one, here we go. So here I have it launching. This is my automation for sending text or for uh, doing mail merges. And then these, you don't, this, this one actually is the code. Like if I'm talking to someone, if I see someone like on LinkedIn that they use auto hotkey, um, I can dump this and it will throw in the text. Where'd it go? There we go. Did it go in the other menu? I don't know. Um, but it'll, it'll put it there and I can easily write this to connect to someone. So it's just things you can, you know, the snippet tool alone is something I love. Uh, but again, I could have it launch programs as these two are doing. And, uh, and, and there's just so much more. Um, it's, it's really kind of crazy how many other things you can do in it. The, um, you can launch a website, you know, so it would automatically basically think of them like bookmarks, the, uh, QAP feature. Um, there's there's a lot of stuff you can even do like mail mergers. And here's how you add the sub menus, menus and sub menus. A shared menu is really cool. If you work with other people, you can actually have parts of your menu shared across teams, and you can designate it whether the person you know creating it is the complete control um, or everyone can edit it. So it's very helpful for that. Um, and you can create groups, so you can launch several things at one time. The new stuff, some of the new stuff he added that I really liked was. Uh, automatically opening your most recent uh like folder that where you've done something so it, it, it's just designed to basically save you time i highly encourage you to check it out so as i demonstrated it, it's a great tool can save you a ton of time you can get it by going to quickaccesspopup.com uh, just look at the text here on the screen and it's just a wonderful tool download it uh it's for running in windows 7 8 10 uh should work fine and all those and, um, you know, I, I only demonstrated a little bit of the functionality. What I'd love to hear is how do you use it, right? Did I, meant, did I not mention something here that you use a lot if you are current users? 
Um, what also, what did you find most interesting, right? What do you think you'll use first? So please add some comments here. I know the developer, Jean Lalon, he would love to hear how, you know, how you use the tool, how it saves you time. And it's just, it's a wonderful tool. So check it out. Cheers.